It's going to be an absolute beauty, this one. Who is going to find the form that they need to get their September mission back on track? So Nama is 93. 94 this year in December and she's a beautiful lady. She lives at a retirement home now in her own little room, covered in Collingwood, posters everywhere. Nana, from as long as I can remember, has been mad into Collingwood. We'd go around to her place and there'd be more photos of the players than there was of us kids. So we'd always give her a bit of grief about that. Nana, put some more photos of us kids up. Why is there so many of the players? And she'd be like, well, they're my babies too. Oh, the Collingwood Football Club, they mean everything to her. <laughs> she enjoys just having something black and white there all the time, really. It's been a whole life, so she's just always loved the footy and we always knew Saturdays were Mum's Day. It had to be something pretty serious that we could drag Mum away from the footy on a Saturday that was her day. I was born in Abbotsford, so to me they've just been a part of my life ever since. In Gipp Street, Abbotsford. But uh, to me they, they've meant everything. And I, I actually, to me it was so exciting to see something that took your interest and took everything with it. Oh, I loved it. These have all got such happy memories for me. My friends sent me that. My best friend came in after my 90th birthday. These I've got all different people have given them to me now and how mad Collingwood I am. And, but they are very mean such a lot to me, which I can look at them every day. And memories have been back, memories of the weeks, the days that I went. And, oh, I wish I was young again. Oh, I really do. So, Nana, I've got some exciting news. I've just been told that Collingwood and Foxtel would like to give you one year's free subscription to Foxtel so you can watch it all year round for a whole year, every day of the week. Fantastic. How exciting. Congratulations, Nana. Thank you. That's How wonderful. That's wonderful. Nana's always loved Collingwood. She wouldn't ever want to watch a game with us though because she gets really upset if Collingwood isn't in the lead. She'd like have to put her remote, sit on it, because as soon as they start losing, she'd throw the remote at the TV or she'd have to turn it off, go pace the hallways a little bit, come back, turn it back on. Oh, they're in front, we can watch it now. Probably see if we lose and I turn it off because I get so churned up, then I'll switch it back on. <laughs> <laughs> and I must admit, before I come here, I had lost quite a few <laughs> remotes through throwing them. So I wasn't going to throw them here because I thought I'll probably never get another one. <laughs> such a shock when I got out of that car to see the cameras coming at me. Oh, I just can't believe how lovely they all were to me. And when I went in and seen all of them pass me and smile at me, oh, nothing was more beautiful. Oh, I don't care if I go tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Nana loves all the boys in Collingwood, but Swanee is definitely her little favourite. She has a real soft spot for him. And she said to me that if she ever gets a chance to meet Swanee, she just wants to give him a little tap on the bum. Oh, no. How are you? What's going on? Very pleased to meet you, babe. Here you go, Murph stuff. Oh, thank you. No worries. How are you? I said, I don't care if I go tomorrow now. I've seen this all. Yeah. <laughs> So Swanee gave Nana a beautiful jersey jumper with his number on the back and it's got the Murph star for Nana, Murphy, and it comes down to her knees. It's like a dress on her and I think she'll wear that every night as a nighty. I don't think it'll come off, but she was pretty excited about getting her very own Collingwood jumper. It's so good to see you. <laughs> oh, well, it's lovely to see you. Because it's just been such a part of her life that 
She's known all the players, she knows who's playing what position and the coaches and she admires them for what they do. But Collingwood just mean the world to her and to actually have a chance to meet them, that's just the epitome of it all, really. I am back, it's very pleasure. You're always one of my favourite players. Is that right? <laughs> Thank you very much. His mum has a walking trolley and of course it's got all the Collingwood memorabilia over it. It's got a little teddy and all the pictures and that on. So needless to say, when we go walking around the shops, it creates a lot of comments. <laughs> Is that, oh, that's actually, you sit on him, do you? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but very carefully, though. Yes, <laughs> when Buck came over to me, he's so lovely, spoke to me like, I really felt he was, I'd known him for, personally for years. How are you travelling? Pretty good, really. Okay, okay. And, oh, after today, I'll not last another hundred years. So we need, we're a bit short on the track. Do you want to come out and just run around with us for a little while? <laughs> oh, but as I said, I might kick the ball too hard and they won't be able yeah, to get yeah, it. We'll save That's you, a trouble. We'll save <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think he is the most lovely man. I'll see you out in the track. Okay, right. good. What are we going to do now to top this? <laughs> they mean a lot to her and always have done. It's just been such a part of her life that I can't really quite understand how Collingwood can be such ingrained in a person. It's just a huge part of her life. and It's just continued on and continued through the family and uh, it's been a part of all our lives because of that. Murph, you have you met Ben? <laughs> hey, how are you? I think it's been she told me the highlight of her life. She said that's what she's dreamed of ever since she was following the club, probably when she was my age. And all she talked about mainly was how handsome all the boys were. <laughs> and said that, I thought they were really handsome on TV, but you should see how handsome they are in real life. <laughs> so Nana was pretty tickled pink about these boys. She would have been just so excited. Um, it would have been drink come true because of her age, um, what a wonderful thing to do. Because it's been her entire life to actually meet the players who are just fantastic people. But I think she just would have not made a day, made a year, made everything. I'll never forget it. She has always got to see him on TV, but never met him as a person. And Swanee treated her so beautifully and spent a lot of time with her and gave him her time. And that meant a lot to Nana. So she really got the most out of it. Oh, terrific. Every one of them, all gorgeous. There'll be, I think once this is over, there'll be quite a few tears and uh, lovely memories and I think it's a lovely memory for all of us, um, but especially for her. But it'd just be a wonderful experience. I'm just so glad it's happened for her, for all the years that she has um, been a part of Collingwood in her way. I'm just, yeah, so pleased for her. I loved them all. I think that was her day. I never ever thought of karma. Never had the slightest income that I was gonna see that. And to me, that was something I'll never forget. And I can only say thank you to all of you for that. It was a marvellous day. Pana, sit. Sit down. Yeah, so this is Pana. 60 kilos worth of uh, French Massif. I named him after um, Ricky Ponning. I also have an interest in horse racing as well, so it fits well. He averages probably about seven cups of dry food a day. He's got a bit of energy, especially when he, if I'm at training for a full day and no one's home, he tends to um, have a lot of energy and likes to play a little bit. Yeah, he's got to, he's got to find that right balance, but yeah, he's pretty unfit as well. <laughs> Not one there. Here's Beam snapping a goal. Looks good. And he's put a throw. Wonderful ruck work. Got it down his throat and Beams suddenly into the action. I think my first sort of dozen games are, are you know, to where I wanted them to be and um, there was probably a period there for about three or four weeks where um, I wasn't playing the, the best footy and I think the last sort of two or three weeks I've been able to turn my own form around a little bit.
I'm fairly happy with my season so far. Obviously coming off such a disappointing year in 2013. You know, a big pre-season for me this year and I was able to get a lot of work in and played every game except for one now. So reasonably happy where my body is and hopefully that you know, I can continue that for now for the next two or three or four games and hopefully finals. Oh look, I do, I do feel like more of a senior player now. Been around for six years now and we've got a young side. There's, you know, there's been a lot of talk about all of our other teams and with their young and youth side, but we're no different. We've got some really young players and inexperienced players and I'm only still I'm still only 24 myself. Played over 100 games now and I think I can bring a fair bit um, to those younger guys and, and help them to develop their careers and the same way that I looked at guys when I was their age and wanted to get to where they got to and wanted to learn as much as I can. So I think I can pro provide a little bit for those younger guys. Alright, so it's uh, Friday afternoon. We've just finished our main session um, in preparation for West Coast on Sunday and as you can see I'm about to start packing some gear, flying out tomorrow at 12 o'clock and Antler have uh, provided me with a nice heavy duty suitcase here so I'm about to start whipping some of this stuff into there and yeah, ready to fly out tomorrow afternoon. So I've got the boots, I'm gonna take that plastic bag out because that's actually my toiletry bag because uh, I don't actually have one. Uh, we'll pack the toiletries, as you can see I don't do this a whole lot so actually got the plastic bag for the toiletries this time and actually I better not forget, I've got my uh, toilet paper. Um, it's always a ritual of mine, I uh, like to take my own toilet paper to games because uh, I express my nerves in a way that hurts my bottom and I need the good stuff to look after that so that's coming with me. Jocks. I suppose, but they're not actually jocks, they're buddy jugglers. So these are the jocks that I always wear um, whilst playing, so they'll be going in and hopefully they can not let me down. That's pretty, pretty much my luggage. And uh, before I forget, the big fella that I live with, Jared Witts, he's uh, asked me to bring his big size 16 shoes, so lucky Antler have given me this big suitcase because these big bad boys are gonna need some space, so we'll chuck them in there and hopefully we can zip this up with all these big whoppers in there. Yeah, so there we are, we're all ready to go. Um, 12 o'clock tomorrow, we'll be wheeling that through the airport and um, be flying off to Perth. It's great news that Antler have come on board as a Collingwood sponsor. All Collingwood members get 30% off Antler product on the Collingwood shop website. Isn't that good punter? It's officially our day off, we don't have to come into the footy club. Yeah, I like to come in, obviously see Lockie Fuchs, our physio, get a bit of work, just on niggling little, I guess not injuries, but just sore spots. Um, it's a long season, you get used to a few hits, but you do get sore and the idea is just to freshen up a little bit. Um, the body, jump in the ice bath, have a bit of a swim. Facilities that we've got here are first class, so um, if you can't get the most out of your body at this place, um, you're doing something wrong. Ah, hold on. Yeah, I'm actually surprisingly in pretty good shape. I know it's my 10th year of football, we're at round 20 again. Gets used to I know, the knocks and the bruises in the contest. You can never really get used to um, I know, wake up in the morning sore, I know, you limp to your car most mornings, these type of little things. I guess it's why I play footy. I love those contests, I love playing in front of 40, 50,000 people every week. I guess it's just something you do. You kind of put up with the, the pain and um, the soreness just for that feeling on a weekend to run out with the, with the boys and hopefully get a win. And I guess that's what it comes down to this time of the year. It's the business part of the year. Um, obviously finals are kind of up in the air at the moment for us, we need a win, so I want to be part of it. There's only been one year that I've played footy at Collingwood and haven't been part of finals, so I don't want it to be my second year. I'm um, really looking forward to the upcoming month and obviously uh, September as well. A lot of people look at it and say, oh, we've got this young squad, young list. I was actually the most experienced player games-wise on the weekend, so I'm only 27, so it's pretty surprising that way. We've got a good bunch of boys coming through. I think at this stage of their career, they're actually stepping up and playing quite good football. So Tommy Langdon, yesterday in his first year of footy, he's still playing really good. Timmy Broomhead stepped up the last few weeks. Ben Kennedy, these guys, and obviously, hopefully, we get the inclusion of Luke Ball and Swanee in the next couple of weeks. We add some real depth and, I guess, age to our group as well. And that's the experience that we really need to come back into our side, just to slow us down uh, mentally on the football field, but also um, just show the, the young guys that. It's not necessarily do the flashy things um, all the time, it's just do, them, do, do the simple things easy and um, get, the, get the result we want on the weekend.
call Wednesday morning from a few of the recruiting boys and they were like, do you want to have a run around? And then I stepped up my rehab to get up for it and then trained Wednesday with the boys and got up. So it was sort of midweek, but it was always up in the air. Just wanted to go out and compete and didn't want to get caught up in the whole hysteria and everything. So I um, did my best to do that as I've tried to do all year. It's my first senior game of football. And then obviously with a being a lifelong supporter of the club, to be able to represent them for the first time, doing what I love to do was obviously a huge thing. So there are a few things going on in, inside my head, but I um, just above all just wanted to just to compete and, and have a win. It's felt great. With that, let's execute it, get it done, let's go. It's weird now, I didn't really think about it much. I can imagine um, you know, a few people that were getting a bit sentimental, you know, the old man stomping ground, um, the hello turf as he likes to call it. So, um, yeah, no, it's, it's huge now. It's something I'll never forget, running on this field, like the power romantic, first time playing for Collingwood on this field and where it all began, so it's really exciting. Just saying then, I don't think my right eye is ever going to be the same. It's, uh, but no, no, it was huge, and to sing good old Collingwood forever for the first time is a, is a huge thing. So yeah, it was really exciting. Heading into that 2007 final against West Coast, things I remember, we came off a pretty good win the week before against, uh, against Sydney, had a really good win. And then coming in obviously against West Coast at, at the time were red hot, you know, obviously really tough to, to win over there. It's really sort of backs to the wall, no one really rated us a, a huge chance to get over the line. To go over there, we were really out on our feet I suppose, the way that the game sort of panned out, it was a tight contest but sort of felt like we were counter-punching for most of the day. This could be disaster for the West Coast Eagles. Oh. Rock has got it. To come away and give ourselves an opportunity by the end of the game, and we obviously drew and, and went into extra time. I remember just being knackered, you know, being out on my feet. And the it is, we're going to overtime. Oh. The way the game sort of panned out, it ended up being one of the, one of the great victories and certainly one of the ones that, um, you know, sticks in your mind as, as one of the great games to be involved in. Just our ability to to run the game out, finish you know really really strong, was was a super effort. The feeling after the game, after you, you go across, you have obviously have a mission and a, and a plan in place to to do what you want to do. To come away with the result that we did was was very satisfying. Yeah, looking forward to, to the uh, Collingwood Forever event, catching up with, with all the guys that, uh, that we've played with. It'll be an awesome night to have all, all the, the past players in the room together. It'll be, a, it'll be a great event, it's one I'm really looking forward to and obviously sharing a few stories and probably a couple of quiet beers as well. It'll be, um, it'll be a great night, so yeah, really looking forward to that. We're here at Smile Solutions today. This is my last visit. I'll have my tooth knocked out down in Geelong in the NAB Cup. Uh, I've had several visits here and this is my last visit so I'm looking forward to it. It was an incident in play where I got an elbow from Steve Johnson. I was wearing a mouth guard and once I sort of took the mouth guard out, a tooth fell out. I knew I obviously had some teeth damage so I went straight to the bench and the doctors tried to do the best they can to put them back in. Hoping to get the all clear. Yeah, had a frustrating few months while coming here regularly but hopefully this is the last visit and I can move on. I had to eat soft food for quite some time, couldn't eat my regular diet, managed through that, had some soups and a lot of rice throughout that time. Glad it's my, my teeth are feeling a lot better now and I can chew harder foods. Clinton sustained an injury during one of the football matches in February this year whereby his front tooth wasn't completely knocked out and the tooth next door was also moved out of place. 
He was fortunately appropriately managed. The tooth was washed in salty water saline and replanted within five minutes, which gives it the best possible um, survival outcome. He was then seen by the team of specialists here at Smile Solutions and the tooth was splintered and the other tooth was put into place. He then had a root canal treatment of his tooth and we have recently seen him and I'm pleased to say that both teeth have survived and have a good long-term prognosis. This is a 3D scan of Clinton's mouth. The upper jaw is shown here and we have access to this scan here at Smile Solutions. It allows us to see the injury that he sustained to his tooth as well as the surrounding structures. Most importantly, if you or a family member sustains facial trauma, ensure that you're referred to an expert in managing the facial trauma, such as an oral maxillofacial surgeon. Here at Smile Solutions, we work within a multidisciplinary team so that other dental injuries can be managed along with the facial fractures. I'm delighted to announce a really important new partnership between Energy Australia and the Collingwood Football Club. And Energy Australia will be helping us develop our online platforms and social media, which is the way that we communicate with our supporters around Australia, around the world, and they'll be investing as our biggest online partner to help build those platforms and facilities. So we're very excited about that. We're also excited about the fact that Energy Australia are providing great discounted offers to our supporters and members who want to take that up and they can go online to look at the offers and save themselves a bit of money on their electricity and gas. And they've also listened to the research from the club that tells us that our supporters, the number one thing they like to receive is a jumper, so they're happy to throw in a signed jumper for anyone that signs up to the offer. So it's a great new partnership, and as we've seen, it's an area that we're developing as a club to continue that connection with our supporters around Australia and around the world, and Energy Australia will be a great, very important partner over the next few years. I love being a member of the Magpie Army. Because I'm part of one of the biggest sporting clubs in the world. I love sharing my dream. With over a million others that bleed black and white like me. And it's in my blood. This jumper makes me feel 10 feet tall. A packed MCG every week. Collingwood domination, envy of the nation.